Vijayawada is a city in the Andhra Pradesh capital region, on the banks of River Krishna in Krishna district of the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. The city is the third most densely populated in the urban population of built-up areas in the world and is the second largest city in Andhra Pradesh by population. Vijayawada is classified as a Y-grade city as per the 6th Central Pay Commission. Vijayawada is the commercial headquarters of Andhra Pradesh. It was recognized as a global city of the future", by McKinsey Quarterly, which expected an increase to GDP of $17 billion by 2025. Vijayawada was ISO 37120 Platinum Level certified in October 2018 and has been added to the Global Cities Registry. The city is known for its landmarks such as Prakasham Barrage across the Krishna River, Krishnavini Mandapam River Museum depicting the history of Krishna River and a nearby idol of the river known as Krishnavini Statue, Gandhi Hill, the first Mahatma Gandhi memorial in the country, an elevation of 500 feet on the Ana Hill, Bhavani Island, one of the largest river island amidst Krishna River. The Kanaka Durga Temple is a Hindu temple of Goddess Durga on the Indrakiladri Hill, on the banks of Krishna River. The deity is described as Swayambu self-manifested in Tritya Kalpa. Akana Madana Cave Temple is a rock-cut temple which is located at the lower reach of the Indrakiladri Temple. Toponymy There are many legends behind the origin of the name Vijayawada. Goddess Durga killed the demon and relaxed in this place for some time. As she was victorious Vijaya, the place came to be known as Vijayawada Vijaya translates to victory and Wada as place, location, literally, the place of victory. The epic Mahabharata refers to the Indrakaladri hills as the place where Arjuna secured Pashupatastra from Lord Shiva. The city thereafter came to be known as Vijayavatika and later as Vijayawada. In some legends, Vijayawada was referred to as Rajendrachalapura. A tale behind its acquiring the name Bezawada is that goddess Krishnavini River Krishna requested Arjuna to make a passage for her to merge into the Bay of Bengal. Hence, Arjuna made a bejam hole through the mountains and the place came to be known as Bejamwada which later changed to Bezawada. <laughs> <laughs> Brief history Bezawada as Vijayawada was known then was founded around 626 AD by Parichetti kings ancestors of Pusapati kings of Vizianagaram. Vijayawada history reveals that Bezawada Vijayawada was ruled by King Madhava Varma one of the kings of Vishnukundina dynasty Chinese Buddhist scholar Xuanzang stayed few years in Bezawada Vijayawada in around 640 AD to copy and study the Abhidhamma Pitaka, the last of the three Pitakas Pali for baskets constituting the Pali Canon. The scriptures of Theravada Buddhism, Mogalrahapuram Hills have five rock-cut temples, built during the 4th-9th centuries. Some of the caves can be attributed to Vishnukundina dynasty. Akana Madana Caves, at the foot of Indrakiladri Hill, is a monument of national importance. At the foot of Indrakiladri Hills is the Temple of Malaswara. The temple has inscriptions dating back to 9th century AD to 16th century AD by various kings. There are ten pillars and a mutilated slab recognized as monuments by Archaeological Survey of India with inscriptions in the Telugu language. Of them, the inscriptions issued by Udamala I and two of eastern Chalukyas are important. In the early 16th century, during the reign of Qutb Shahi dynasty, also known as Golconda Sultanate, diamond mines were found near Vijayawada on the banks of Krishna River. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. Vijayawada lies on the banks of Krishna River, covered by hills and canals. It is 18.5 kilometers, 11.5 miles from the state capital Amaravati and at an altitude of 11 meters, 36 feet above sea level. Three canals originating from the north side of the Prakasham Barrage reservoir, Aluru, Bunder, and Rives, flow through the city. Topic: <laughs> Climate Vijayawada has a tropical climate 
The annual mean temperatures range between 23.4 to 34 degrees Celsius, 74 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, with the maximum temperatures often crosses 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit in the month of May and the minimum in December and January. The highest maximum temperature ever recorded was 48.8 degrees Celsius, 119.8 degrees Fahrenheit in May 2002, and the lowest was 12.4 degrees Celsius, 54 degrees Fahrenheit on January 1997. May is the hottest and January is the coldest month of the year. It receives rainfall from the southwest and northeast monsoons and the average annual rainfall recorded is 977.9 mm, 38.50 in. Topic. Demographics As of 2011 Census of India, the city had a population of 1,476,931. The total population constituted 524,918 males and 523,322 females — for a sex ratio of 997 females per 1,000 males higher than the national average of 940 per 1,000. 92,848 children were in the age group of 0 to 6 years, of which 47,582 were boys and 45,266 were girls, a ratio of 951 per 1,000. The average literacy rate stood at 82.59% male 86.25%, female 78.94% with 789,038 literates, significantly higher than the national average of 73.00%. Vijayawada is one of the most densely populated cities with approximately 31,200 people per square km. Language and religion The predominant language spoken by the city residents is Telugu. Governance Civic administration Vijayawada Municipal Corporation is the civic governing body of the city and was the first ISO 9001 certified urban local body in the country. It was constituted on 1 April 1888 and was upgraded to selection grade municipality in 1960, and, to the corporation in 1981. The jurisdictional area of the corporation is spread over an area of 61.8 square kilometres 23.9 square miles with 59 wards. The present municipal commissioner of the city is Jay Nevis and the present mayor is Konaru Sridhar. Vijayawada is the headquarters of Andhra Pradesh Capital Region Development Authority. As per the GO 104, dated, the 23rd of March 2017, the state government had declared Vijayawada Municipal Corporation and its contiguous areas as a metropolitan area of Vijayawada. Its jurisdiction is spread over an area of 160 square kilometers, 62 square miles, and has an estimated population of 18 lakhs. The metropolitan area covers Vijayawada Municipal Corporation and merged villages of Ambapuram, Budavaram, Dun Atkuru, Enakepadu, Ganguru, Ganavaram, Galaputi, Gudavali, Jakampudi, Kanuru, Kesarapal, Nidamanuru, Nunna, Pathapadu, Penamaluru, Furyadi Ninavaram, Poranki, Prasadampadu, Ramavarapadu, Tadagadapa, and Yanamalakaduru. The urban agglomeration spread in Gunter district covers Tadapal municipality and its outgrowth of Undavali, Mangalagiri municipality and its outgrowths of Navuluru and Atmakore. Utility services Water supply from the 59 water reservoirs, maintenance of roads, sewerage, underground drainage, environment protection programs, recycling of solid waste and producing power are the services are provided by the Vijayawada Municipal Corporation. There has been an underground drainage system in the city since 1967-68. Many green parks are maintained by the corporation to protect the environment such as Raghavaya Park, Rajiv Gandhi Park, Drive B. R. Ambedkar Park, Mahatma Gandhi Park etc. 
The corporation won many awards and achievements such as National Urban Water Award 2009, City E-Governance Project, ISO 9001 Certification for Quality Management System, the Andhra Pradesh State Disaster and Fire Response Department with its headquarters in the city are responsible for protecting from fire accidents that occur during summers on the hill slope areas of the city. Pollution control Vijayawada is one of the cities to be covered under the Solar – Green Cities scheme launched by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and is one of the 15 cities in the country listed in pilot solar cities. The city is promoting the use of environmentally friendly transport supported by biodiesel, CNG and auto rickshaws and electric e -rickshaws were introduced. Law and order The Vijayawada City Police has its own police commissionerate, which is responsible for an area of 1211.16 sq.km, is headed by a police commissioner, who is an Indian Police Service Officer of Additional Director General of Police rank along with one Joint Commissioner of Police and four Deputy Commissioners of Police who are also IPS officers. The present police commissioner is Gutham Savang. Economy Vijayawada is one of the rapidly growing urban markets of the country. The sectors that contribute to the city economy are construction, education, entertainment, food processing, hospitality, registrations, transport, etc. Based on the recommendations of the Sixth Central Pay Commission, it is classified as one of the Y-grade cities of India. The GDP of Vijayawada in 2010 was $3 billion and is estimated to touch $17 billion by 2025. Andhra Cements 1937 was the first cement factory in Andhra Pradesh. Cyrus Pharmaceuticals was the first pharma company in Andhra Pradesh and was established in 1950. The city has trading and exporting markets for agriculture and industrial goods. The Nuna Mango Market is one of the largest mango markets in Asia, exporting to major cities in the country. It is also a hub for storage, bottling, and transportation of petroleum products of all major companies like BPCL, HPCL, and IOC. The growing population and economy have resulted in rising real estate prices. Culture The city is known in the state for its cultural history, whose residents are more often referred to as Vijayawadian. There are many religions, languages, traditions, and festivals. Durga Puja and a special Thepatsavam in Krishna River are important events of the Hindu festival of Dusara in the city, mainly due to the existence of self-manifested Kanaka Durga temple. Hazarat Bal Mosque is a Muslim shrine housing the holy relic of the Prophet Muhammad. The Gunadala Mary Matha Church is an important shrine for Christians and illuminates during Christmas Eve. The city corporation organizes Happy Sunday, an event organized on the first Sunday of every month at MG. Road for promoting activities such as sports, games, cultural events, and yoga. The clothing of the locals includes traditional men wearing dhoti and women wearing sari and salwar kameez. Western clothing is also predominant. Arts, crafts and artifacts The Vijayawada Art Society promotes Telugu arts. The city hosted Poetic Prism 2015, a multilingual poets meet on September 19, 2015. All these activities are organized in collaboration with the Cultural Center of Vijayawada. Kondapalli Toys—which were granted geographical indication in 2007— are handmade by the artisans of Kondapalli, a suburb of Vijayawada. Victoria Jubilee Museum is an archaeological museum in the city, which houses sculptures, paintings, and artifacts of Buddhist and Hindu relics, dating back to the 2nd and 3rd centuries. <laughs> Cityscape The city of Vijayawada has old and new town areas. 
The one town area of the city is known as Old City Area, comprising areas such as Islampeta, Jendeshatu Center, Kamsalipada, Rajarajaswaripada, Kathapeta, Ajithsingh Nagaram, and Winchipada. The new city areas include areas such as Autonagar, Ben Circle, Chuttagunta, Labipada, Machavaram Down, Mogalrahapuram, NTR Circle, Tikal Road, Governorpita, Pinamaneni Polyclinic Road and Suryareopet. Brindavan Colony, Commercial Taxes Colony, Gunadala, Veterinary Colony are some of the residential areas. Bank Colony, Bharati Nagar, Gayatri Nagar, Currency Nagar, Satyanarayana Puram, Gurunanak Colony, APIIC Colony, LIC Colony, Patamada and MG Road are the upscale residential areas. The major commercial areas include the stretch of MG Road and from Ben Circle to Ramavarapadu Ring. Other commercial centers are Besant Road, Rajagopalachari Street, One Town Market Area covering Kalaswara Rao Market, and Vastralatha. Sister city Vijayawada has one sister city. In 1993 Modesto, CA was paired with Vijayawada. Transport Topic Road The primary modes of intra-city public transport are city buses and auto rickshaws. Apart from these, other means of transport are motorcycles, cycle rickshaws, and bicycles. The Pandit Nehru Bus Station and the Vijayawada Railway Station are the major transport infrastructure in the city for road and rail transport. Besides those two there are other modes of transport infrastructures i.e., Autonagar bus terminal and city bus port. Another nearest railway station to Vijayawada is Krishna Canal JN. The Pandit Nehru bus station is the administrative headquarters of APSRTC, which is ranked as the fourth largest and busiest bus terminals in the country. The Vijayawada City Division of APSRTC operates close to 450 buses for an average of 300,000 daily commuting passengers and is supported by BRTS corridors. The two major national highways of NH16 old NH5 connecting Kolkata Chennai and NH65 previously designated as NH9 connecting Pune Hyderabad Suryapet Mashilipatnam provides access to other states. National Highway 30 from Jagdalpur of Chhattisgarh terminates near the city suburb of Ibrahimpatnam. The inner ring road connects NH16 and 65 to serve the main purpose of easing traffic congestion. The city has a total road length of 1,264.24 kilometers (785.56 miles), covering 1,230.00 kilometers (764.29 miles) of municipal roads, 22.74 kilometers (14.13 miles) of R&B roads and buildings, department roads, 11. 7.50 kilometers, 7.15 miles of national highways. MG Road and Aluru Road are the main arterial roads of the city. Ben Circle is one of the busiest road junctions in the city with an average of 57,000 vehicles crossing daily. The junction has the intersection of two national highways of NH16 and NH65. Topic: Rail <inaudible> <inaudible> Vijayawada Railway Vijayawada Railway Station was established in the 19th century late 1880s. Vijayawada Railway Station is classified as an A1 category station and is one of the busiest of Indian railways. Suburban rail services are operated from the railway station to the nearby cities of Gunter and Tenali, Gudavada, Maklapatnam, Bhimavaram, Narasapuram. The city houses the headquarters of Vijayawada Railway Division, one of the six railway divisions of South Central Railway Zone. The station has also a diesel and electric loco sheds which have a capacity of holding 220 locos by both the sheds. Also, this station connects to the major cities of India such as Mumbai, Secunderabad, Chennai, Delhi and Howrah by train. This is also a junction for Howrah Chennai, Howrah Bangalore and Delhi Chennai main lines. This city has also the satellite stations to serve the city in busy times such as Krishna Canal JN, etc. A new circular railway project proposed would extend up to the state capital, Amaravati. The Vijayawada Metro is a planned rapid transit system that would be constructed in two corridors.
The city of Vijayawada has several satellite stations such as, Ganavaram, Gunadala, Krishna Canal, Ramavarapadu, Kondapalli, Ryanapadu, Madura Nagar, Nidamanuru. <laughs> Suburban and high-speed rail A proposed circular train connectivity would connect Vijayawada with neighbouring cities of Gunter, Tenali, Mangalagiri and the state capital, Amaravati. Waterways The seamless commuting in the city is supported by the presence of 16 bridges across the three canals of Bundar, Aluru, and Rives. MG Road and Aluru Road are the major arterial roads of the city, with as many as 90,000 vehicles plying MG Road, Bundar Road itself. The city has a total road length of 1,264.24 km miles, used by 678,004 non-transport and 94,937 transport vehicles. The heavy vehicles like lorries are used for freight transport and hold a share of 18% in the country. Short distance commuting is served by 27,296 auto rickshaws plying the city roads every day, which include the women driven she autos. <laughs> Air The Vijayawada Airport at Ganavaram provides air connectivity to major metropolitan cities of the country. On 3 May 2017, Vijayawada Airport was upgraded from domestic to international. During the 2016–17 fiscal year, it registered domestic passenger movement growth rate of 56.1% with a total passenger count of 622,354 and aircraft movement recorded a growth of 54.8% with 10,333 aircraft. Topic education The primary and secondary school education is imparted by the government, aided and private schools, under the State School Education Department. As per the School Information Report for the academic year 2015-16, the city limits have 133,837 students enrolled in 529 schools. The state and CBSE syllabus are followed by schools for the secondary school certificate. The languages of instruction are English, Telugu, and Urdu. For 10 plus 2 education, there are two government junior colleges, namely, SRR and CVR Government Junior College and Government Junior College at Vinchipada, a railway junior college, three cooperative, 12 private aided, including the oldest, SRR and CVR College established in 1937, Andhra Loyola College established in December 1953, Maria Stella College for Girls established in 1962, V. R. Siddhartha Engineering College established in 1977 the oldest engineering college in Andhra Pradesh, and many private unaided colleges. School of Planning and Architecture, Vijayawada SPAV, was established in 2008, a higher education institute in Vijayawada. It is one of the three schools of planning and architecture SPAs established by the Ministry of Human Resource Development in 2008 as an autonomous institute and a full central funded institution. The Sarvathama Granthalaya is a city library established on 30 March 1987. It serves an average daily readership of 200, equipped with 22,000 books related to many fields. VMC and VBFS Research and Reference Library is a reader's room, library maintained by Vijayawada Book Festival Society. Media. Vasalandra was the first newspaper in the state, started from Vijayawada. As per the 58th Annual Report of Press India 2013-14, the large and medium Telugu daily publications from Vijayawada include Andhra Jyoti, Inadu, Sakshi, Surya, Andhra Prabha, Telugu Jatiya Dinapatrika Vartha, Praja Sakti, and Udaya Bharatam. The English publications are Deccan Chronicle, The Hindu, The Times of India, News Boom, The Fourth Voice, and Views Observer. The All India Radio Vijayawada was commissioned on 1 December 1948. Its building was named after Pingali Venkaya, the designer of the Indian flag. The channels broadcast by All India Radio are Rainbow Krishnavini FM, Vivi Bharati. Telugu Doordarshan Saptagiri is located here.
Topic: Sports. Indira Gandhi Stadium in the city is the headquarters of the Sports Authority of Andhra Pradesh. It has hosted the only men's ODI on the 24th of November 2002, played between India and West Indies. The only women's ODI was hosted on the 12th of December 1997, played as a group match of 1997 Women's Cricket World Cup between England women's and Pakistan women's teams. Makineni Basavapunaya Stadium at Ajit Singh Nagar is another stadium that caters the sporting needs of the northern part of the city. Indoor stadiums include Dandamudi Rajagopala Rao Indoor Stadium at MG Road and Chenapati Ramakotaya Indoor Stadium at Padamatalanka. The DRRIS was named after the former weightlifter, Dandamudi Rajagopala Rao, who participated in the 1951 Asian Games and the 1956 Olympics. The DRRIS hosted several national and international sporting events, such as the 79th Senior Badminton Champions. Sporthi is the first paddler from the city to have represented at international level. Andhra Cricket Association International Cricket Stadium is being built on a 30 acre 12 hectares site at Navlar village, Mangalagiri Mandal of Gunter district, t 15 km from the city of Vijayawada. It will serve as the Andhra Cricket Association Stadium. Vijaya Madhavi Tennis Academy is in Loyola College. Loyola College grounds hosted many national level events, which includes a Ranji match. The Railway Sports Stadium, near the railway station, hosted several national level railway and a few non railway events. This stadium has a gallery facility of over 10,000 people. Makineni Basava Punaya Stadium is another open stadium in the city. Dandamudi Raja Gopal Rao Indoor Stadium is one of the noted badminton stadiums in AP. It hosted several national level badminton and table tennis championships. The city has been confirmed for the sixth round of the 2018 F1H2O World Championship, UIM F1H2O Amaravati Grand Prix, that will be held on 16, 17, the 18th of November 2018 in the Krishna River. Topic. See also. List of most populous cities in India List of cities in Andhra Pradesh by population